I'm Joe. And I'm Melissa. And together we are JM Photo Video, and we'd like to welcome you back to another episode of our podcast, Blue Hour. The podcast we talk about photography, videography, and creative entrepreneurship. And on today's episode, we're so excited to be on location in Cloud Nine with our very first guest, Anna Lopez Cobb. Anna, you want to introduce yourself and tell us all about Cloud Nine and what you do? Sure. So, hello, Joe and Melissa. How are we doing this morning? <laughs> we're doing, doing great. great. <laughs> Good. Oh, I guess it's afternoon. Oh my gosh. Well, yeah. anyways, uh, glad to hear you're doing great. Thank you for coming to Cloud Nine. Um, we're so excited Thanks to for having yeah. us. have you guys here. I love this little room back here. Yes, um, it's so cute. <laughs> thank you. So, I run two businesses, as you guys know, I or three now. I have Ana Lopez Photography, which has been my baby since high school. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I have Cloud Nine here. That I've had for a year now, year in May, um, and then the Shenandoah, which I just got the keys for on Friday. That's so exciting! <laughs> We're so excited for all of the business ventures that you're Thank in you. right now. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I'm so excited. Uh, sometimes it can be a very scary uh, thing to jump in mm-hmm. and just move forward yeah. with it. But I have a great support system, and I'm very blessed to have that, so yeah. that I can make those moves. Yes. Super important. Sure. Yes. Yeah. Um, thinking big picture, kind of tell sure. us about the origin of cloud nine, how did it start? Sure. Where'd the idea come from? Yeah. So, um, actually I, this is so funny cause I was thinking about this the other day, very randomly. Um, I always do Christmas minis every year. Mm-hmm. I've been doing them since 2019. Um, and it was really cold and I had been shooting them at Boydville, love yeah. the owners at Boydville, but it was just really cold when I was doing my minis. So my parents let me borrow their velvet couch that they had out of one of their Airbnbs and I delivered it back at the end of the day. And I was sitting down with my mom and dad that day in November of 22. And I was like, man, I would really love my own studio. Mm-hmm. I just would love to be warm inside. And at the time in 2022, the trend kind of was going towards studio photography in the modern digital photography world. Right. Um, so a week later, my dad showed me a couple properties. I was not sold at the time. Um, and then in January of 2023, this was a Mongolian art studio. <laughs> Uh, It was very interesting. Um, It was owned by a couple out of DC and they had not used it for years. But uh, outside in there, there was like huge photography rolls pinned on the wall. Mm -hmm. And they told me I could keep it up if I wanted to take the place, obviously. Um, But we completely renovated it. I I was sold. Yes. And then um, kind of actually I was sold, but I was a little contemplating at first because I was not sure if that was, you know, the move I wanted to make. I had... uh, different visions. Um, and then my husband actually was like, there is a way to make money off of this space, even if you want to keep it as your studio. So I kind of rolled with it. Mm -hmm. And then in March, April, I was in a group chat with my parents and we were kind of thinking about names of the space. And so whenever I shoot weddings, um, I'm a romantic, uh, (laughs) I literally am always on cloud nine. So, yeah. and I thought, oh my God, the space is white, you know, it's got gold in there and I feel like I'm on cloud nine. That's so cool. that's I where the name that. came from. Yeah. Thank you. That's and I was really sold cool. yeah. and I just, it fit it so perfect. That's awesome. That's Thank awesome. you. Yes. Yeah. So what is, what is the mission? What are you, what are you hoping to give to your clients? Sure. So with cloud nine, uh, we would just want to give them a clean space. Um, that has tables and chairs for any type of event that they need. Um, We do have Taylor in here who is a beautiful yoga instructor. She represents our business so well. Um, Just a clean space that is available for the public. You know, I've been, I have kids, you have kids. Yeah. I've been to a lot of birthday parties. Yeah, we're so excited. We're hosting our daughter's birthday party here in a couple weeks. Me too, I can't wait. Um, I've been to a lot of birthday parties and locally there's just not nice spaces mm-hmm. unless you use your house. And I have used my house, but man, that is a cleanup. Oh yeah. You have to lot. clean before the party you do. and then you have to clean after the party yes. and it's just yep. so much. Yeah. <laughs> and I just, I thought the space worked so perfect for that. So it's just, that is the mission just to bring something clean and vibrant. And I love how Zen it is mm-hmm. in here. It's just a space that you really can't find. Right lot of and I've traveled all across the country and I just wanted to bring that back home yeah well and this is something that Martinsburg needs I yeah I think so too I you know downtown gets a rep 
Mm -hmm. but it is really changing and we have some great people in um, some positions downtown who are around our age and they are really making a huge difference. So I'm so excited that cloud nine gets to be a part of that. Yeah. We're not, I mean, we're local to Martinsburg, but we don't live in Martinsburg anymore. And like we've, we've seen from like a little afar how Martins downtown Martinsburg is really up and coming a little bit. Yeah. 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 It really is. It is going to explode. I uh, feel lucky because I know so many people. I mean, I grew up here Mm -hmm. and I never thought I was going to stay just to put that out there. I'm happy I stayed. Yeah. One day we'll be in Florida <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> where it's warm. <laughs> yes. Where it's warm and I can just have a pink house. It'd be so cute. Yeah. Um, but just to be down here and know a bunch of people, it just, yeah. it, it almost feels like a second home. Mm-hmm. Like, I love it. It's very nice. Cause I live like close to Virginia. So it's nice to come back. Yes. Yeah. It's changed a lot, mm-hmm. a whole lot. Yeah. So what's kind of the, the process for someone who finds Cloud9, which sure. is kind of like your booking and all of that kind of front end process for somebody who might just find you brand new. Absolutely. So we have advertised on our socials before. Um, everything right now is word of mouth. Um, so just literally just people tagging us. That is how they find mm-hmm. us. Um, we have grown our page on Facebook and Instagram, Facebook mainly for Cloud9, um, not as much as the others for the other platforms. Um, just because it is kind of an older demographic down right. here downtown. Um, so they can get in touch with us that way through a DM or an email. We have all of our contact information mm-hmm. online. Awesome. Yeah. Do you want to, do you want to touch on the Shenandoah a little bit? Oh, while we're here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, um, I feel like I, we have to, it's super yeah. exciting. Yes. So I love, um, weddings. I have been shooting them now full time for five years. Um, and when I was pregnant, I was thinking about my future, basically. As you do when you're pregnant. Yeah. Like, what am I going to do? do. Like, how am I going to support this family that's growing? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So I had talked to my family, you know, my husband, everybody at the time. And I was just like, I would love to own a wedding venue. So um, we had looked at a couple of properties with a potential partner, um, in 2021 and 2022, mm-hmm. we just didn't have the funds at the time. And, um, in July of last year, my dad sent me a video of him touring, you know, the Shenandoah. It doesn't, it did not look like what it looks like now. Mm-hmm. Guys. It, it was like yeah. different. <laughs> um, I had also been in there in 2017 because my younger brother had done his, uh, album release show there they had rented it out and it was so cool and I was working at the radio at the time and we did Mm -hmm. a whole event it was just it was it was a big deal we had line you know down the street um so when I walked in there in August I was I just I couldn't not let it be mine so we did everything we could to get in touch with who we needed to get in touch with that's awesome. And I love that. Now, yeah. yeah I, I'm so excited to go see it. I, <laughs> I have been in there, but I, I was in there maybe 15 plus years ago. Yeah. So um, I cause I was know. in orchestra and I did like orchestra things and like, we probably did it together. I just can't remember because I play violin, but I did an orchestra thing there. I don't, I don't early two thousands. Yeah. And so I'm so excited to see it now. Cause I, I remember it from then mm-hmm. and I want to see what you have done to the space. Oh, guys, I, <laughs> I just, I think shooting so many weddings yeah. and especially when, once you get out of, you know, this 20 mile radius, once you start going into Leesburg and mm-hmm. DC, even South Carolina, just wherever they have venues that are just like the Shenandoah. Um, and I thought that the Shenandoah would do so well because of that, because it's really kind of yep. a one in a million yeah. in this area. Yeah. So it is just so pretty. The glass yeah. wall, the white walls, yeah. the chandeliers. We're so excited. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, from my perspective, I think it's like the perfect mix of like urban. You have it some is. cityscape yeah. things yes. going on like around you. Yep. Mm-hmm. So it really gives yeah. you that historic feel, but with the modern yes. updated you know, look that people are looking for. Um, we've actually already booked three or four weddings. That's so exciting. Yes. And within our first day of like actually going live online, um, I had over 1200 follows, which I thought was crazy. 
I just I couldn't believe it. And yeah. now I'm almost up to 1,700 and my Instagram is growing. I'm really trying on that end. Yeah, Instagram's so, hard. It is. <laughs> it is so hard. Yeah. My photography one I've had since 2013. So that, yep. no wonder that is yeah. where it is now. But when it comes to building a brand new mm-hmm. one, it I have been watching reels, seeing what reels I can are do. Hard. They are. And they're so hard. They yeah. are. And I'm just so excited, though, because I've got a couple photographers from all over coming in there in the next few weeks doing film and doing mm-hmm. photos and just like. Yeah, it's free advertising for me. So mm-hmm. and free reels and things I can post. Yeah. So I just need yeah. to stay up with that. And I'm, I'm thinking my page is looking really good right yeah. now. So I'm very happy about that. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Thank yeah. you. It is such a dream come true. It's my second baby for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Nice. Thanks, guys. We've talked kind of about how um, you've been a wedding photographer full time for you said five years, I think, and yeah. shooting a lot longer than that, too. Yeah. Um, Talk to us about how that business and your venue businesses kind of like coexist. How do you see that sure. happening in the next couple of years? Yeah. So um, I think a great way to look at it is I'm 30 right now. Um, I think when I'm 45, 50, I mean, I know I'll still be strong, obviously, but it does take a wear and tear on your body. As you both know, mm-hmm. working eight to 12 hour days is a lot, especially when you're carrying like 30 pounds of gear yeah. on you. Um, so what I do with my wedding photography, I already help my brides kind of coordinate their days anyways, based on, uh, their itinerary Mm -hmm. and how I can fit my photo into that. Um, so owning a venue is still kind of helping a bride help coordinate her day, have the right services she needs, but I can still be there, but just not carry 30 pounds of gear and I can hire someone to be there when I'm not there. That's awesome. So that was the goal. Awesome. So yeah. are you thinking you're going to like kind of crossfade the two or like, you mean both ev- businesses together? Eventually you're going to do less weddings and less like event, like, yeah, event like photography, less oh. the weddings, but like more venue, more of the venue. Actually, I'm not so sure yet. I yeah. think in my later life, yes. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't want to stop with photography. Mm-hmm. I am loving it right now. That's it awesome. is, it is such a beautiful part of my life and I love being a part of someone's day like yeah. that. I feel like that is a human connection that you don't get a lot of in everyday life. Mm -hmm. I love happiest days. So um, I don't plan on stopping anytime soon, um, but I want both to coexist just as big as the other one is. Right. So luckily I've got a lot of great people who can help me with that. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. We've, we've talked a lot about how weddings are what fill our cup. We really take a lot of pride in, we could be capturing a moment that somebody shares with their grandparent Mm -hmm. and that's like the last photo they have Mm -hmm. with their grandparent. Like we, we always like, we carry that burden of like, we know we're capturing these moments and I know, you know that as well. Oh yeah. I cry. I like, I'm a baby and I've been to so many of them that you think I'd be fine by now. Yeah. Every father daughter dance. I'm a puddle. Yeah. Like straight up. Uh, It doesn't matter what song it is. is I really like first looks. With yes. now with brides and grooms, that wasn't a thing when I got married many years ago. Did you guys Same, not do a first look? No, that was not. Oh. A, that was not a thing back then. Oh, we did. He didn't cry. Yeah. I'm still yeah. mad about it. Joe, I didn't cry. He didn't cry when I walked oh. down the aisle. He what? Didn't, he didn't. Cry I cried when we left. Okay. Yeah. Oh well, maybe yeah. you're more private in that way. Yeah. It, it doesn't. <laughs> it, 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 it didn't I'm hit still me. Mad. It's fine. It didn't hit me until the end. <laughs> like it, it hit me when we left and we drove away and we're like. Yeah, I don't know. We stopped in that field. Remember yeah, we stopped that? in some random field because the sun was setting. And we got out of your Prius and we're like yeah. dressed for a wedding. Like we took a ourselves. selfie. It was super and, sweet. Oh, that's when he cried. Yeah, I actually think that's amazing. Yeah, <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Um, yeah, they, those are my favorite parts. I also yeah. love the daddy daughter first looks because I, you guys have daughters. We're all girl parents yes. here. Yep. Um, <laughs> one day our daughters are gonna be mm-hmm. women and marrying the love of their lives, and I know that is going to be something that. Mm-hmm. is going to be so interesting oh, yeah. and heart wrenching to mm-hmm. watch, but yeah. I'll make sure she has the best team documenting her day. <laughs> so <laughs> that's why I'm always a puddle at father daughter dances. Yeah. Cause we have two little girls yep. and yep. I just think of them dancing with him. Oh, and I know. He knows like he, he is in charge of photos at that time because yeah. I'm like, I'm covering it. Right. But I'm not yeah. as on it as I normally. Yeah. Oh yeah. Be. 
it's yeah. it's he doesn't so, look at me either i'm like all right here we go <laughs> oh that's actually so <laughs> cute yeah. Yeah. <laughs> showtime yeah wow yeah. Yeah, yeah. It, you know what? I've been through a lot the past few years just in my life. And weddings have become more emotional for me mm-hmm. because of it. And it is just the craziest thing. And I I chase that feeling. I don't know why I chase yeah. that feeling, but I love the feeling. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. And I actually really do love being an all around photographer as well. I love, I have people who've been with me since I was like doing $50 shoots back that's in the amazing. day. Yeah, that's yeah. amazing. And I, I have always been taking photos since I was 16. Mm-hmm. Um, but I've worked so many odd jobs. I've been a waitress. I've worked at Fossil, at Calvin Klein. I've worked at Piccadilly's, just all the, you name it, I worked there. All my clients followed me. They were people I used to work with when, mm-hmm. in the beginning, when I started I this I remember career. when you first started. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. they were all people I had worked mm-hmm. with. And yep. then it was great because I really didn't work in West Virginia much other than when I was a lifeguard, but there was my Maryland people and there was Mm -hmm. my Winchester people. And then that really just like full circle. Yeah. Very, very blessed to have the relationships and I still take their pictures today. That's awesome. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. I love it. That's That's cool. It's a cool career field. And it's such a, non-traditional field of work too. It is. It is the, um, I think it's almost one of the most fulfilling, Mm -hmm. you know, and you have to stay focused on just your purpose of why you are doing it. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people can get lost in this career field, especially with social media. Oh yeah. And you're my age. So you guys know we kind of grew up with it. So we maybe have a little bit of a different take on it, Yeah. but people who are younger, you know, it's, it is a little difficult and you just got to move forward and just keep doing you and just know that you offer a product Mm -hmm. that is desirable and not one person is alike. And that should make you feel even more excited to do what you are doing. Yeah. 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 We always talk about how we carry that responsibility, right? And I think it's so important, especially in the wedding industry, to not get distracted by like the grab the bag mentality. You know what I mean? Because you can charge the weddings are so so expensive. They are. Right. And as a photographer, I mean you set your own rates and everything, but I think it's so important to just keep in mind uh, we talk a lot about hiring photographers on this show and giving advice to yeah. couples that might be listening, right? Yeah. It's so important to find somebody with the heart for it who's taking it so seriously. Absolutely. Yeah. Because, so. yeah, I agree. Because at the end of the day, you're going to see it back mm-hmm. in the art mm-hmm. that you give them. And I agree with you, Joe. There are people out there that grab the bag. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And and I think, too, I mean, you're married. We're married. We, we take the responsibility of capturing weddings differently because we've experienced our own wedding. That is so true. You know, yeah. like yep. we've, we've, we went through the process of hiring our own wedding photographer yep. and we, we chose them based on how much we, our impressions of how much they care about yeah. the craft was. Yes. Yep. So I, I, I like to hope that we convey that to our couples mm-hmm. that, you know, we care, we've, we're married, we get it. We understand how important this day is. Oh yeah. And actually too, it's so funny you say that because I do things now that weren't done Mm -hmm. at my wedding day. And I feel like that's the service that I bring to the table. hundred percent. That sets it apart. hundred percent. We do things that our photographer didn't do. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, we got married eight years ago. So you we've got been married eight years yeah. ago, 2016. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. You're coming up on the 10. Yeah. yeah. That's there, exciting. Getting there we're getting there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. I think I was actually at Target when you guys were on your first date, you by were, the way. You were. Yeah. It was a fun little, fun Easter <laughs> you were, egg. Yeah. And you came and talked to us, and it was, it was fun. Were you guys at the Starbucks? Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh. Yeah, sure were. I remember that. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. Oh yeah. my yeah. gosh. Yeah. That was our first date. That is crazy. Back in 2012. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. With 19, you were 20. You well, were 20. We were, we were 19 turning 20. Turn 20. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 It's been a minute. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. To think Target's been there that I long. Know. I know. I remember when they built it in I know. high school. Me too. 
<laughs> now yes. we're really just aging ourselves. No, no we really are. But yeah. I actually love being this age and I love the era we grew up in because yeah. we kind of grew up with the digital age mm -hmm. and we got to experience life a little bit more simple. Yeah. But, yeah. you know, we didn't have really Instagram or anything like that until like the very end of yeah. my senior I mean, year. I mean, I didn't have an Instagram yeah. until college. Yeah. It, yeah. it just wasn't a thing. It. Like I was with Joe sitting at his parents' dining room table when he made his Instagram. Were yeah, you? Uh -huh, oh yeah. no way! Yeah, you're I was like, Joe, like, you need an Instagram. Yeah. Why do you not have an Instagram? When yeah. did you guys make yours? I don't, I, uh, it had to have been 2012. Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah. yeah, I was 2011. I actually did it senior year. Yeah, yeah, in uh, math class. Nice. Yeah, but I, I didn't know what it was. I was yeah. like, this yeah. is fun. I remember doing it in college, so yeah. it had to have been 2011, 2012. Yeah. I started one in 2010, and I actually deleted it. Did you like, really? This is terrible. They had it in 2010. Yeah. yeah, like well, I knew 2011. I was also not on iPhone at that point in time. I was on like Windows Phone or something else. Yeah, he didn't have an iPhone. It really? Was, like, yeah. You yeah, seem like the guy that would have had an iPhone when, in high school. When we started yeah. dating, he didn't have an iPhone. Yeah. Did you? Yeah. Oh, of course I did. <laughs> yeah, I did too. <laughs> I had I had friends that convinced me otherwise, but I started wow. it and I actually deleted the app because like, this is awful. Like you just yeah. you post photos. Like why would I? Yeah. I don't know. I do that on Facebook. Yeah. So, it is crazy. I was very I, pessimistic at first yeah. with Instagram. Uh, but yeah. Sometimes I still get I pessimistic it with it. <laughs> yeah. But it's a great app. Yeah. I actually love yeah. it. It's really fun. I feel like Instagram lately has been where we've been getting a lot of traction. Same. More so than Facebook. Yeah. Same. Um, but like you were saying earlier, face, the demographic of this area is very Facebook. Totally different. Heavy. So I actually saw. Um, uh, one of those like polls on Instagram the other day, they were talking about photographers, where does the majority of your clients come from? Mm -hmm. And mine come from Facebook mainly. Yeah. Surprisingly. Ours do too. Yeah. And I wonder if that's just because everyone shares things and it's a little bit easier as a forum yeah. to see, mm -hmm. but Instagram, I'm having so much fun with it right now. It's really like picking up. So yeah. I'm excited to see where that takes me. Yeah. We've had a couple brides this year find us from Instagram, but most yeah. of them our Facebook. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 The more you put out, the more you get in. Yeah. I'm trying yeah. so hard with reels. Reels yeah. are so hard. I though. need to, I need to get on that. Yeah. You guys are doing really well. Cause your reels always pop up on my, on well, my that's, page. That's, that's encouraging. Good. That's yeah. Good to know. That is good to know. <laughs> for real. Yes. And yeah. I try to like them every yeah. time yeah. I see them. Yeah. So yeah. thanks for that. You're very Appreciate welcome. Yeah. yeah. Joe makes all the video ones, yeah. but if they're like photos popping up, they look good. Yeah. Well, yes. thanks. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> So circling back, yeah. kind of getting back into the, into the groove. Um, what advice do you have as someone who's been a creative entrepreneur for 10 plus years at this point? What advice do you have for someone who's maybe a lot further back on the path, maybe like a year or two in? Sure. Uh, advice I would give is to not compare yourself. It is really hard, as I was talking mm -hmm. about earlier, <clears throat> to compare ourselves to other people online. Um, have a niche. So if you enjoy family photography, focus on family photography. Perfect your craft in that. Mm -hmm. If you love video, perfect your craft in the video er areas that you love. Yeah. Um, stay focused. Stay in your lane. Other people are going to, um, I wouldn't say copy, but they are going to do the same things. Um, don't take it personal and just keep moving forward and be kind to your clients, be respectful, be private. Don't be sharing things that they tell you because that is between you and your clients. Yeah. Um, and just, just be a good person all through and through, yeah. it, especially through your business. I find when you are a good person and a good human and you stay humble and you don't let things get to your head, your business actually thrives from that. People like working with good people. Yeah. So, and I find that as someone who were to just come in, I would just focus on being a good and attentive person, entrepreneur, and just stay focused in your lane. And that yeah. there is something for everyone out there. Not everyone is going to like your style and that's okay. That person will. So exactly other people right. like yeah. that person will yeah. love your style. Yeah. Yes. hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. I hope that's a good way to sum that up. Yeah. Um, I wish I had a mentor when I was younger. Um, I really didn't. I just kind of 
figured it out on my own. Now I would say my dad is my mentor. He's yeah. a very successful commercial realtor in Martinsburg. Um, and he's really guided me with these big opportunities. I love him for that. Yep. So, and he's kind of how always had the same motto just to keep moving forward. Mm -hmm. And he's like, don't hear the outside noise. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yep. It's hard. Yeah. It really is. It's really hard. Cause I, I fall into these spirals and, oh, and Joe can attest to this where I'll just yeah. start scrolling yes. and be like, why, why did they go with them and not me? Like, yeah. you know, it's that comparison we, we know game this person. and this imposter yes. syndrome. I feel like I fall into the imposter syndrome all the time. So do I. Um, really? Still? Oh my goodness. Goodness. Still? Yeah. Oh, man. Even this that morning. makes me feel better. <laughs> I feel so much better about myself. <laughs> yes, yeah. all the time. Yeah. I feel like when you're in imposter syndrome, it is like, do I really deserve this? Am I, am I really doing this? Yeah. Am I really waking up and this is my life? Right. Like, yep. it, yeah. yeah. But at the end of the day, I'm like, yes, you yeah. killed it. Yeah. yeah. And you're excited about the it. work you're creating and mm -hmm. the art and mm -hmm. all of that. Yep. Yeah. And that's why I'm excited for the venue spaces as well. Just offering really cool things like that. Yeah. Just we're so to, excited like, for you people. for that. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, you made guys. my next segue for me. What are you most excited about over the next like two years for your venues? Oh, like what are you like most looking forward to? Oh, just uh, the influx of brides um, and people, anyone who wants mm -hmm. to use both spaces for the events. Um, I'm excited to see them grow online. I'm excited for people in our community to be talking about them. We just mm -hmm. booked a bridal expo in October. That's so that exciting. I'm so excited. They're having a fashion show and everything like that. Nice. Yeah. It's just, those are the things I'm really excited for. Mm -hmm. And just having a beautiful place, especially because I am a photographer, to photograph in. Mm -hmm. That's mine. Yeah. And I can just, you know, really do whatever I want with it. Yeah. So. Have, have so you much. had have you had a favorite reaction to showing somebody the space? A favorite reaction, es especially like the Shenandoah. I think they're just more in. Uh, I love when people are just like shocked. They're like, "This actually exists mm -hmm. here, like here in Martinsburg," and I'm just, yeah, it yeah. does. That's probably the best reaction yeah. in the whole wide world. Yeah. Yes. I'll have more reactions today because I have more showings later this <laughs> afternoon. <laughs> nice. Yes. nice. It's so exciting. Yeah, it is so cool, guys. Yeah. I I just, I love the wedding world. I've worked at a ton of venues myself mm -hmm. and I'm always, even before I got this one, just years ago, I was like, if I had a venue, I would do this and I would do this and this would be this way. And, you know, over time that venue is going to be, I want it to be number one desired. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, it's already growing so fast yeah. that I feel like it's going to be here soon. I hope so. Yeah, I just want to make it a success. It's so beautiful inside. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I I'm so excited stage. to go see it. <laughs> I, know. Yeah, I can't wait to too. show you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Is there anything else you want to add about your businesses, about things coexisting together? Like, I'm super sure. interested in how, like, the two things are going to mesh for you. I don't, sure. I mean, it, it is might be kind of an opposite. Yeah. Thing. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, I would say that I open the venue because I do love the industry. I don't want to leave the industry. I do think that's where my heart is. I don't think if I was a photographer or had a venue, I think I would probably be a, a wedding planner or something like that. You'd be very good at that. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I feel like that's right up my alley. Um, but having both spaces, I actually don't know where it will take me. I think that's the beauty of it right now. Um, I'm just excited to see where they yeah. do. And I don't plan on slowing down with photography. That is my first baby. It always will be my baby. Um, I will never stop doing that. I'm going to be 80 <laughs> and having a nice yeah. camera and taking pictures. Yeah, <laughs> it's nice. going to be a thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, and with the venue, I just, I want it to do really well. And you know what? I feel like if you just don't try it, you don't know. So, and I'm glad I'm giving it a shot. Yeah. That is yeah. what's most important to me. Are you yeah. so excited to photograph a wedding in the Shenandoah? I am. Yeah. Yes. I'm so excited. Yeah. Whenever they come, um, <laughs> I do offer packages with the venue, but I don't want my brides to feel like if they book the venue right. that they have to book me. Right. Yeah. There's so many beautiful artists out there that yeah. are just as talented and that can really represent. Mm -hmm. Plus I, I love different content. Right. So, yeah. Yeah. So I probably should have asked sure. this earlier. So with the Shenandoah, if you book it for your wedding, mm -hmm. do 
does the Shenandoah have a coordinator like built in there or do do you have to bring in your own? Sure. So we actually just hired on, um, Sydney, uh, with SK events. Mm -hmm. I actually met her in Frederick at Walker's Overlook. We've been friends ever since we worked a wedding together and I really liked her. Um, she's done a couple events here at cloud nine. She did a micro micro wedding here not too long ago. Um, and we just had a meeting with her last week and she will be our coordinator. So awesome. she will also be at the open house. So you guys will meet her. Yeah, she's cool. fabulous. She's so nice. She's from PA. Um, and she is great at her job. So we are so excited to offer that. We want, oh, I just uh, booked a limousine service too last oh, night cool. as cool. a preferred vendor. So I'm very nice. excited. Nice. So he will be there as well with his really beautiful limousine. Cool. Yes. So yeah, we're so excited for your open house. Thank That'll you. So fun. Thank you. The, the goal for the open house is to have brides or just whoever wants to see it. Look at all three rooms. Um, we'll have a little mock setup of what a table would look like. Um, and then we'll obviously have our vendors there if they want to be there. Mm-hmm. Um, That way, if brides have questions, you guys are face to face with that bride and they're not looking at a card. Um, And then also just to show them the amenities and what we can offer. Um, A lot of brides have told me in the past when they do book weddings at certain venues, they pay an arm and a leg just for space. They're not getting tables. They're not getting chairs. Mm -hmm. They don't have a preferred vendor list. A lot of people don't know where to to start. Right. When it comes to looking. So, and there's so many options out there right now. I'm sure it can be very confusing. So to go to a venue that already provides X, Y, Z, that bride feels really confident in the venue itself. And that yeah. she knows that she is solid in whoever she may choose. Right. Yes. Yeah. That's so important to have a preferred vendor list. It is. Because they're people that you trust on yes. the list yes. that the venue has worked with. And that's just really good. Circling back, I think yeah. it's so nice and so like considerate of you to not like force your photography on your brides who book yes. your venue. Because yeah. I, I feel like I've seen places that will like you book the venue and you have to use this photographer. Or you right? have to use their we catering use, service or right. you have to yeah. use the DJ that's provided. Or there's some crazy like price hike if you bring in an outside caterer mm-hmm. or something. So I just think that's so like... So consider uh, it's considerate of you to be that like open. Absolutely. To other photographers being in your space. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. I think it's important, especially from a social media standpoint. It just looks really good online. Mm-hmm. You know, you want different people in there. You want different people talking about it. Right. Um, and once you do have other photographers in there, they could be from Frederick or, yep. you know, PA yep. or even yep. Virginia. Just and they're attracting different clients. It's all marketing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's. But yeah, I totally agree with you. I love that. I'm open to that. I think that's so important. Yeah. I mean, you've been in the industry for a long time. You know that photographer is one of the first people they book after they get the venue. It is. And how many of your brides have come to you? Do you have a recommendation for a DJ or a hairdresser or makeup artist? Like we get that all the time. DJ is the one I feel like we we get get the most. most. I get DJ a lot too. And you know what's crazy? I don't know many DJs. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. I've met many at weddings, but I feel like we interact with the DJ a lot because of video. Mm -hmm. Like we plug into the sound systems a lot. Yeah. Yes. So, we try to keep it in our back pocket who the really good ones are. Yeah. yeah. So we have like a short say, little hey, list. Yeah. Yes. Well, I'm excited yeah. for you guys to see the space, to use the space. Yeah. Um, and for you both to shoot there as well. Yeah. I know that you both yeah. do a great job. So just Thank to you. see what that's going to look like. Oh, yeah. I can't wait. It's yeah. So gorgeous. We're super pumped. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. It, it is a beautiful thing to be an entrepreneur. Um, you don't get time back. It's allowed me so much time to focus on my goals mm-hmm. personally and professionally. It's allowed me to be a better mother, a better wife, everything. It just, it's really strengthening me in so many ways. And I don't know what I'd do if I wasn't all of these things. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. We that often so say, well yeah, <laughs> we you. often say that because we are small business owners, you're never off the clock. You're always on. Yes. But, and we've been trying to be better at like, Me okay, too. from this time to this time, it's family time. We're not talking mm-hmm. business, yeah. but it, I mean, because we have these non-traditional jobs, if we want to go to the park, 
with our kid at two o'clock on a Friday and Mm -hmm. we're free, let's do it. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. So that flexibility is so nice. Yeah. And I feel uh, lucky because I've always had parents who my mom's been a real estate agent for over 20 years. My dad became a real estate agent in like 2011. So and having a brother who always followed his dream. Same with my younger brother. It was the exact same way. Mm-hmm. Followed his dream. My parents were always really encouraging of you don't need to work a nine to five to do what you want. Set yourself up for success and then go. Mm-hmm. And that's the goal they always yeah. gave us. And yep. I always saw that they had time with us. And I just I could not have that same time because being a mom is my number one thing yeah. in the whole world yeah. next to these things. So Yep. It's so important to me to have that flexibility, mm-hmm. but still that passion. And I hope Ashton one day looks at me and she's like, wow, my mom yeah. did all of this and she inspires me. That's yeah. all I want. She doesn't yeah. have to follow me. We as talk long about as the same thing. That. Yeah. yeah. We, like, yeah. We, hope- we often joke because like we put money away. And we're like, well, yeah. maybe our wedding business will pay for our daughter's wedding yeah. someday. Yeah. Yes. You know, uh-huh. it'll come yeah. full circle. Yeah. It really will. And I um, hope she sees, and I'm sure your babies too, that photographing and having all of these things, especially of your own moments and your own family, yeah. they just, they'll always have something oh, to yeah. look back on. And it's so important. Yeah. That was the heart of our business. We were right. just talking about this, how like we documented our own lives and wanted to share that with others. Right. Yeah. And that's kind of like the origin of yeah. why we started. Yes. Right. Yeah. It's for that same love of sharing that with other people. Yeah. I feel like our four-year-old is starting to get, catch the bug. Though. Is she? Yeah. yeah. How yes- so? Well, yesterday we were taking our 11 month olds, 11 month photos mm-hmm. and we had Aww. her on the blanket and we're doing the whole thing. It's so cute. And our four-year-old took my phone and you know how like you can press on the iPhone and you bring up the camera. Yeah. But she brought it up and she was taking BTS for us. And then she was yeah. taking like pictures That's actually of awesome. her sister yeah. on the blanket. Really cool. And then she was like, mom, 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 look, look at what I did. And I'm like, that's so good. Yeah. Like, good job. And like, he has this yeah. little point and shoot from like I don't know, 2000. I saw it on your story. Yeah. Yeah. Uh (laughs) Yeah. And our four-year-old runs around with it. I mean, half of them are just pictures of like my knees, but like they're artistic pictures of my knees. Like, oh my God, she's having fun fun and she loves it. And she plays like, that's actually really cool. She'll like put her stuffed animals in a chair and pretend to take pictures of them. And it's so cute. It's just crazy. They really are watching. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wow. It's so funny. Ashton will take my Polaroid and she'll put on some sunglasses I always wear sunglasses and she goes, mommy, cheese. Oh, nice. <laughs> I'm literally like, yeah, I'm like, I love you so much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's so funny. Oh man. It's the best. Yeah. I love that your daughter is doing that. Yeah. Like, she might be a little helper one day. Maybe, Maybe. she could. To- so, okay. So I know we're going to branch out just a little bit, but there is this new thing in the wedding industry. It's content creation. People mm-hmm. will hire you. That's her. Yeah. She can do it. Yes. She's got it. <laughs> Yes, people will hire you to come yeah. to your oh, yeah. wedding or to yeah. their wedding and you shoot on your iPhone. Mm-hmm. Yep. How do you First feel about that? Love yeah. it. Okay. You love, love it? Love it. Yes. I actually cool. would add it as a service. I'm thinking about adding it as, mm-hmm. as a service. That's refreshing. I feel like the yes. overwhelming attitude from photography, videography folks is I don't really? want that. Yeah. I feel like that's what I'm reading. But wow. Well, you know what? Yeah. I believe that mm-hmm. because in a world yeah. of what we're in, which mm-hmm. can be a very egotistic, Mm-hmm. world i'm yeah. gonna be yeah. honest right people see that as a downfall yeah but to me that is like where it's at yeah like people I, want their stuff faster too so i don't know if you guys know guys have noticed but uh sometimes in my shoots i'll post on my story like an actual scene of what i'm actually photographing mm-hmm. and i put music to it and my clients are always like oh my god mm-hmm. thank you so much for making this for yeah. me yeah it's easy. It takes yeah. five minutes. Mm-hmm. And I think yeah. it's such a smart, I know it's brand new, but I do think it is so, so smart. Mm-hmm. You could literally do first point of view with the mother of the bride, whatever, mm-hmm. while your photographer is taking pictures mm-hmm. and just being like a social media manager for the day. Yeah. Like yeah. that is really cool. Like yeah. I, that's a cool job. Oh my gosh. You need to have fun the entire yeah. time. Yeah. Play I, on your phone all day. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> I do feel like it's going to blow up. It yeah. is. Especially in the next like year or so. It is, especially think, with the younger people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And yeah. I think some of the hesitation from the uh, definitely videographer community yeah. is, oh my God, they're turning this around so quickly. And like, yeah, I can't make I a video that. that fast. So are they going to just 
Because like and as think, photographers, oh, we get we get sneak peek mm-hmm. photos to the our couples like the yeah. next day, and we, you we always need some. a photographer for that reason. Right? Video is yes. so much harder. Yes. Right? Yes. Like, and I think that's where the video guys are and girls are saying like, "Hey, I don't know about this. Like, you're yeah. gonna make them something next day." Yeah. You know. So. Well, it is not shot the same way. Yeah. Like it's that's very true. like that's TikTok-y. Very true. You know, mm-hmm. it's, it's all not vertical. That's very true. Yeah. So if it's just a snippet of the day, mm-hmm. great, like yeah. five minutes. But I really yeah. do think the wedding videos are highly, you should always have those. Yeah. yeah. Um, have I you think seen, so too, but I'm biased. No, I know. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen the beautiful trends that are coming around for, it's like the film aesthetic mm. for videography that looks like I actual have, films. I have seen a little bit of that. And I've also yes. seen people that'll shoot super. Yes. Eight, I, I actually which is crazy. dig that. I yeah. think it's so cool. Yeah. I think it's, I think it would be really tough to do. Yes. There's not a well, fan of the Super 8, but he likes like I'm a not, dad cam type yeah. footage. That's cool. Yeah, I just yeah. don't know how reliable a Super 8 camera would be. Like I don't, I know you shoot it yeah. kind of supplementary to your other work, yes. but yeah, I do I do think it's cool and I think it's used well. It is. I do think some people tend to overuse it. Yeah. But um, yeah, it's that's definitely, so true. It's definitely yeah. a cool vibe though. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Nick Jandora sometimes gives me that really cool vibe, yes. which I love him for that. He's very talented in that mm-hmm. way. Yeah. So, but he's one of the very few that can like make it great, but he also lives in LA. So he's got a lot of cool things to yeah. shoot. <laughs> yeah. 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 Right. Well, cool. Yeah. I, we should probably wrap it up. Yeah. yeah. Thank you guys. Seriously. Yeah. This Thank has been so a much. pleasure. Mm-hmm. I yeah. love talking to the both of you. Yeah. You both are very successful and it's just, it means a lot that you would consider it means a lot me. that you wanted to sit down with us and talk. Yeah, yeah. yeah. absolutely. Yeah. yeah. This has been such a relaxed uh, way of just talking about our businesses. And I just love seeing you guys do this. Keep yeah. keep doing it. People enjoy it. Well, thank you. You're we very love welcome. seeing you grow with thank Cloud9 you. and the Shenandoah and your photography. It's thank great. Thank you. Thank you guys. So, can you tell everyone where they can find you? Absolutely. You can find me on Instagram or Facebook at Ana Lopez Photography or at Shenandoah Weddings or at Cloud9 West Virginia. Or you can visit my website, www.analopezphotography.com. And we can be found at JM Photo Video on Instagram and Facebook, um, YouTube. And our podcast is found anywhere you find a podcast. Anywhere you find your favorite podcast, we will be there. Yeah, perfect. All right, cool. Thank you, guys. Have a wonderful Monday. (laughs) You too. (laughs) Thank you. Hear the music.